Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're given a variety of functions and we're asked to explain how each graph is obtained from the graph y equals f of x. So first we have y equals f of x plus 8. This is a vertical shift of 8 units upward. When the addition is done outside of the function, it is vertical. And I will skip down to D, which is very similar. This is a horizontal shift because the addition is done within the actual calculation of the function. So this is of eight units to the left. Okay, next we can do y equals eight f of x and y equals f of eight x. These Sorry, this one is the stretching of f of x by a factor of 8. And it is done on the outside, so it is vertical, vertically. Here, we have a horizontal, since it's done within. This is a horizontal. And when it is a large number, right, so this is 8, this is greater than 1. When it is a greater than 1 value, it is a vertical stretch, but a horizontal shrink. Versus here, 1 eighth, this is a horizontal stretch, but we'll get to that. This is a horizontal shrink by a factor of 8. This is a horizontal stretch by a factor of 8 because it is 1 over 8. And then 8f of x doing the same thing here, a, the vertical stretch by a factor of 8. It is important that you do the horizontal before the vertical. We are moving outwards from what's inside the function to outwards. And then the last one, c, negative f of x is a reflection about the x-axis and vertical shift minus 1, down 1. So for A, B, C, D, E, and F, these are the ways in which we obtain each of these graphs from Y equals F of X.